Can you get in trouble here? Oh, no. Can you talk about how you developed this cut in your arm? <laughs> My name is Sydney Romero and I play third base for the University of Oklahoma. We are in Menifee, California. I am home for the holidays with my family. <laughs> Growing up, I remember watching my dad play baseball, and then from there I watched Sierra play softball. And I remember being the back girl for her team. I was dressed in full uniform, and I thought I was on the team, but I really wasn't. And I feel like then was the time that I was like, man, I really want to do this. That's when it all started. I started travel ball when I was eight years old and I was super competitive. I hated to lose. I remember we were in the championship game and we ended up losing and I just remember going to my dad and just bawling my eyes out because I was so mad that we lost. And I knew from there, there was just something in me that didn't want to lose and I just loved the sport so much. Who's walking us today? Um, this is Bailey Jo Romero. <laughs> this is what our daily life looks like. Now, when you were playing travel ball, what schools were you thinking about going to? Growing up, I've always loved UCLA, loved them so much. I just think as I got older, my thoughts about schools have changed a little bit. Oklahoma, honestly, was never a school that I'd planned on going to. It's kind of crazy how things work out because I'm so glad that I'm there right now. Yeah, two national championships. Ain't bad, especially right out the gate, your freshman year. I know. Looking back on my freshman year, um, we had a great group of a freshman class coming in. It was Kaylee Clifton, Shay Knighton, Folly Avu, Kylie Lumberg, and Reagan Rogers. We came into a class that had a huge senior class before us with Lauren Chamberlain, Georgia Casey. We kind of didn't know like what to expect and we knew we were coming in trying to fill those shoes. So no one believed we would win a national championship. We just weren't clicking right. Something just was missing. Romero is out at first. After losing big players, we had to find our identity again, and I think our team did a really good job of that later in the season once we got to spring, and I think that's what our missing piece was. We hadn't found our identity, and once we did, we all played really comfortable and freeing, and playing free for our team and having fun is just what the Oklahoma Sooners are about, and we have a championship mindset. That's an identity that we found that has really brought us all together. Here's the pitch. Left field line again, this one is deep, it might be, it is long gone! A home run for Sidney Romero. Winning a championship is so hard because all cylinders have to be working. Your defense has to be on point, your pitching has to be on point, and your hitting has to be on point. And not only on the field, but off the field, your chemistry has to be really good. I think that's where our team does a really good job of, is, is just making sure we're all on the same page, we're all willing to make everyone feel comfortable in order to be able to step on the field and go all out. Winning my freshman year, I definitely remember the final out being in complete shock. and It was just an amazing feeling. My sophomore year in regionals, we were nearly knocked out of our own. And I remember after losing that first game, our team just came together and we're like, this isn't going to happen. We're not going to get knocked out of our own regional. So we all came together and just fought as a whole group and it was really, really impressive to see our team come together and just win all the games after that. It kind of showed me what it takes to win and it was definitely one of my favorite moments of playing at the University of Oklahoma. And Sidney Romero is struck out. Big strikeout right there. There's definitely a time where I've struggled. I would say postseason last year. It was just at bat after at bat that I was just like, what the heck? Like my swing does not feel good. Like nothing felt good hitting. It was really weird. So I was really focusing on just fundamentals and going back to what I did when I was younger and trying to figure out what was going on with me. I had no idea because honestly I'd never been through anything like that. For me, when I focus on something too much, it kind of drives me insane. I get super frustrated and I keep wanting to go until I get it right and it's just not gonna happen. I came to a realization that it was just getting back to what I love doing, whether that's pulling out my photography again or pulling out writing, because I love to write. It's just finding those things on the side that'll help me, and I didn't do that at the time. And I realized now, like, I just need to get my mind off of it and just kind of focus on that, and it'll bring me back together. <laughs> I will just go take pictures of nature or one of my teammates, whether they want me to or not. 
It was a good learning situation for me. I grew as a hitter, I grew as a person, and now I know what to do when I go through that again. When I first stepped on the field at Oklahoma, I just remember getting butterflies in my stomach, and that's something that I haven't lost, and that happens to me every single game, and I hope I never lose it because it just reminds me how much I love this game and how much I've worked for it and how much I don't want it to be over. The best advice I've ever been given was from Coach Gasso my freshman year and she says it to this day is you have everything to gain and nothing to lose and I really looked at that with softball and in life because if you don't go all at it, you're not going to get it. I see softball growing as a whole in the future and I'm hoping in the NPF it grows even more and for the Olympics I hope it carries on to 2024 and so on and I see myself playing for as long as I can and I see the game in college growing even more. I feel like the views now are huge and I feel like it's only going to go up from here.